Hey, what's up, guys? Zoi Jeans and Myong. Ni hao ma. I'm coming right back at you with yet another uh, Chinese lesson specialized for you. In today's short lesson, we are going to examine uh, how to talk about life experiences in Mandarin Chinese. This is the first installment in the ongoing series of how to talk about life experiences. All right, without further ado, let's hit it. Okay, so I want to explain. I want to explain here that we have three words that I'm going to go in to. I think I will put them into three installments here. So the first word is Jing Li. Jing Li, give it a try. Jing Li. Okay, that does mean experience. The next one is Jing Yan. Jing Yan, give it a try. Jing Yan, give it a try. Okay, and the next one is Ti Yan. Ti Yan, give it a try. Okay, Ti Yan. And all of which, of course, mean experience. Again, I want to encourage you to think about Chinese words literally. Okay. Uh, these three words uh, use that concept 100%. I want you thinking about these words literally. So, when we examine Jing Li, what do you think of? That's right. We think of Jing Guo or to go through. Okay, so uh, the prefix of Jing Li is Jing, and when we think of Jing, we think of Jing Guo, which is to go through. What about the suffix in Jing Li? Yes, right. Okay, again, uh, the suffix is going to be li, and li comes, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of li is li sure, li sure, or history. Okay, so to go through history, so you're going through history. This is how uh, I went through life. You know, I'm always experiencing things and learning things from my experiences. Okay, uh, so you have past some history in life, and then we have this uh, wonderful example I have here. Wo de qian nu yo ge wa bu hao de jing li. Okay, so my ex-girlfriend gave me some bad life history. Okay, so there it is. Uh, that is jing li in a sentence. That's how you can talk about the life experiences you know, that you felt with your ex-partner and didn't end marriage, so it chalked up as life experience. It's history, okay? So there you go. That is my first installment in the ongoing series of how to talk about experiences in Mandarin Chinese. Stay tuned for more short lessons in the future. Much longer lessons will be coming soon. To stay up to date on these and get notified when the longer videos will be posted, please like and smash that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a nice day. This is Teacher Ben. Bye-bye. Zai Jen.